today I'm gonna be showing you how you can fix your IQ software so you can customize your RGB exactly how you want to. Now, this problem is for anybody who has a lot of Corsair products in their PC, any sort of Corsair RGB, and you need IQ to change your lighting, add any effects to it, change the color, whatever. But the issue that I was having is every time that I would open up the IQ software, it would just immediately close. It, it wouldn't stay open. I couldn't get it to stay open. And I got a couple of things that you can try to end up getting it to work so you can customize your RGB. All right, guys. So the first thing that you can try is downloading a different version of the software. So delete the one that you have. You know what I'm saying? You go to your PC, you can click the windows and then you can just type in IQ, right click it and then hit uninstall. And what you do after that is you can go to Google, type in uh, Corsair IQ download and it'll bring you to this page and it's different versions of the software that you can download and it has the respective operating system Mac or Windows so you pick whichever one you need try an older version and see if that works for you if it doesn't the next thing that you can try is running it as administrator so I'll show you how to do that and then for me I can't remember which one of those options worked or if it was like a combination of the two but whichever one it was it worked for me or combining the two so i'm pretty sure i have an older version of iq's install um, but to run it as system administrator you want to right click it and then you hit run as administrator it'll prompt you with this message and then you click yes but after that it should start working so if that works for you you could try to download a more updated version of the software and see if it works but ever since i've done those two things it's been working perfectly fine for me it opens up and i'm able to customize my lighting to exactly how i like it you know, my node pro controls my fans that i have and then this is a part of my AIO, which I can customize the color on that. And then, of course, my RAM sticks that I have in my PC. So you see it's open. It's not closing on me. I can go in, change the colors and effects, whatever I need to do. And then I'll just close it. But hopefully that ends up working for you. If you got any questions or anything, feel free to comment them down below. I'll try my best to help you guys find a solution if what I suggested did not work. But I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel down below. Let me know if there are any other tutorials, anything that you might need to see with OBS or just any other PC questions that you may have. But I appreciate you guys for tuning in and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.